very good exercise. It was. <laughs> we'll we'll be better, better next time, I'm sure. <laughs> Great. So did you say he's going to call me? Yeah, he'll, whenever we're live, he'll, he'll call out there. And it's then I'll tell us. Nothing that I'm going to do with the limited certificate. There's two. Okay. Ten of the oh. yes, it's ten of them. Okay. Can I get that to the camera or tomorrow? Yeah. Of course, I, I go back and forth with Russ and Jill. I still don't understand why I send you the minutes certificate and appropriations when I should just be giving you my final expenditure. I mean, at least it's so dumb. Some of these reports we have to do. And she goes, but, and I've got my at the fund level. I said, some of these appropriations, I heard one girl was off by a quarter and the budget commission wouldn't sign it. She's like, oh, off by a quarter. Have you ever been before the budget commission? No, I, but I've gone down to their sessions. So here's another one. Okay. Oh, sorry. Here's, the, here's the final appropriations, and then there's the, uh, you know, the second one. Is, you have to send two appropriations. That's why I said I'm getting, well, they're different because you're having new appropriations starting after the new year because you've got new salary contracts. So. Can you reimburse? Can you reimburse the but this is where your auditors have fun too, right? Because they like to go look what you have, they like to go see what she has, and then they like to go pull your system. Okay, see here the the writing. See see the writing. Yeah. So the writing. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, you have to have that signature since sixth grade. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't even do cursive. Are we live now? No, we're not live with that. We have a number of members. I need a ring. I'll have to tell you later because I don't know. Okay. Did he call you? Not yet. I'm just curious um, the situation with Becky Jordan. She's on, still on staff. She's with the ESC. We got she had bumping rights. Okay. Yeah, I thought. Okay. I think I thought on that. Everybody was talking about it, but I just need to. Yeah, I knew she did. We're good. Okay. 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 Um, eight twenty-two. Uh, number seven, personnel, approval to hire Nathan Cavis as some help for the technology department. Do we have a motion? Move. No. Green? Us. Uh, I'll second. Green and white. Here they go again. Mrs. Mrs. White? I'm yes. Sure. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Ms. Ray? Yes. The approval to hire Ashley Moore as high school science teacher for the 2021 school year. I'll move. Second. Who, who moved? Isles. Oh, agree. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. White? Yes. And Ms. Green? Yes. Approval to hire Josh Rummel as seventh grade boys basketball coach for the 20, 2021 season. I'll move. White. Second. Ray, second. Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Ms. Ray? Yes. <clears throat> okay, uh, resolution to approve a reduction in force of the position of aid. Whereas the Fayetteville Perry Local School District Board of Education has received a recommendation from the superintendent for a reduction in force to a one to one aid position due to lack of work in, whereas the board has determined that a reduction in force is necessary and desires to approve said reduction in force in accordance with uh, revised code 3319.172 board policy and article eight of the collective bargaining agreement between the Fayetteville Perry Local School District Board of Education and the Fayetteville Perry Classified Employees Association. And whereas the board has compiled or complied with all applicable requirements of the reduction in force provisions of the collective bargaining agreement to include timely notice to 
association president and the effective member whose contract of employment is to be suspended pursuant to the reduction in force. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Pitville Perry Local School District Board of Education as follows. Section one, the following member shall reduce in force due to lack of work. Crystal Gaucher A. The treasurer shall cause notice of the board's action herein to be sent to the effective staff member holding this position. Section two, it is found and determined that all formal action of this board concerning or related to the adoption of this resolution was adopted in an open meeting of this board and all deliberations of this board and any of its committees that resulted in such formal action were adopted in meetings open to the public in compliance with all applicable requirements of the Ohio Revised Code. Do we have a motion? Move. No. Second. Isles. Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Ms. Ray? Yes. E, approval to contract elementary principal Eric Fiscus for three years and follow the approved elementary principal salary schedule. We have a motion. I'll move. White. Second. Uh, who said? Green. Green. Ms. May? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. White? Yes. Ms. Green. Yes. It's been a long night. <laughs> Approved the contract middle school principal, James Heron, for three years and follow the approved middle school principal salary schedule. Motion? No. Oh. Second. Green. Isles. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. White? Yes. And Ms. Green? Yes. Approval to hire Linda McConaughey as golf and bowling coach for the 2020-2021 school year. I'll move. White. Second. Ray. <clears throat> Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Ms. Ray? Yes. Okay, uh, number seven, other. Approved to hire Mr. Tim Collier for three-year co contract can follow the approved superintendent salary schedule. We have a motion. I'll move. White. Second. Ray. Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Ray? Yes. And Mrs. Green? Yes. Thank you. Any other? Thank you. Okay. All positions are pending proper credentials and background checks. Okay, major purchase, approved Southern Hills Career and Technical Center for the 2020-2021 school year for the satellite technology class. Do we have a motion? Move. Green. I'll second. White. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Approval to renew ingenuity program for the elementary school for the 2020-2021 school year in the amount of $10,995. No. Second. Green. Isles. Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Ms. Ray? Yes. Approval to rescind resolution 2020-77 due to Grace Technology LLC not being able to fulfill the order. The laptop purchase was 20,000. I have a question about that. Yes. Um, just clarification. Uh, so we're, we're going, to, are these the same 80 laptops that we're buying for the sixth grade? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Okay, so we're just changing vendors there. Mm -hmm. Correct. And uh, okay, I just Office wanted to know. So we're Office having more. to cough up some more money. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So still, the twenty thousand dollars will be from our grant money. Though. We'll okay. still be able to use the twenty thousand right. for grant and six thousand from general okay. fund. All okay. Right. Okay. Do we have a motion to resolve? Move. Green. I'll second. Isles. Miss Ray. Yes. Mrs. Isles. Yes. Mrs. Johnson. Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? 
Yes. Okay, D, approval to purchase 80 laptops for the upcoming sixth grade students from Confucian Education in the amount of $26,320. The laptops will be purchased through the School Quality Grant and Permanent Improvement Funds. Do we have a motion? I'll move. I'll second. Okay, who, who moved? Laura, I'm sorry, oh, yeah. Isles. In white. In white. Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. Ray? Yes. Approve the annual contract for Hamilton Claremont Cooperative, HCC, from July 1st, 2020 through June 30th, 2021. Move. Green. Also, White. Like that's <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. White? Yes. Mrs. Right. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Ms. Ray? Yes. New business approve the 2020 2021 open enrollment letter and policy PO5113 as presented. No. Green. Second. White. <laughs> Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Approval to offer parents student accident insurance. Provided by John Wood Insurance Agency Incorporated, written through Guaranteed Trust Life Insurance Company for the 2020 2021 school year. Motion? I'll be white. I'll second. Isles. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Approved. Approval to follow suit with OHSAA on allowing all students entering grades 7 through 12 be eligible for 2020 fall sports insofar as academic eligibility. Do we have a motion? Move. Second. Ray. Who seconded it? Captain. Green. Green. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Approved elementary, middle, high school, and athletic handbook and coaches handbook for the 2020 2021 school year. I'll move. I have right. a question on that. Um, so, the coaches handbook is that new? No? No, no but we always have one. That I'm aware of. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Never saw it before, and I coached really? for how many years? Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> Did you read the book? Do we have a second? I'll move. I'll take it on. Okay, so Paula moved in the middle. Yes. Who seconded? I will. Catherine? Yeah, yeah. White and green. Green. Oh, green. 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 Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Approval to amend the 2020. 2021 district calendar start date for students to start on August 24th for additional professional development for staff due to COVID-19. Move. Second. Green and Ray. Doesn't sound as good. Green, Ray. <laughs> Green, Ray. <laughs> Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Mrs. White? Yes. Approval to update NEOLA policies recommended by NEOLA. Policy 520, uh, policy 2420, 1520, um, policy 2464, policy 3120, policy 3120.4, policy 3120.05, policy 3120. Dot 08, policy 4120, policy 4120.08, policy 4124, policy 4162, policy 5460, and policy 6107. We have a motion on that. Second. <laughs> White, green, and green. And green. 
Ms. Ray? That's a lot of updates, yeah. but that was yeah. good. That's Mrs. Good. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. And there's more coming, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Approval to follow the Brown County Schools guidelines with the support of Brown County Health Department for the start of the 2020-2021 school year. Do we have a motion? I'll second. Green and white. Ms. Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Okay, H, approval of Ohio school plan policy for 2020-2021 school year. Can we have a motion? Move. Green. A second. Second. Ray. Miss Ray? Yes. Mrs. Isles? Yes. Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Miss Green? Yes. And Mrs. White? Yes. Okay, number 10. <laughs> Could I have a question first? Yes. Uh, Mr. Carter, something came to my attention, uh, and I wanted to uh, mention it to all of us. Um, it's about our lunch fee arrearage policy, I guess, where, you know, children who, for whatever reason, their parents didn't pay for their lunch, uh, or something, they're given a peanut butter sandwich or something, is that right, under third, so I'm, I'm just abbreviating here. I would like to know, if we're not currently doing it, if, um, if wouldn't it be better, or would it be worth considering, perhaps, the school dealing with the parents on that, rather than the school dealing with the kids on that, as far as changing their lunch, uh, I'm concerned about that, and I. Uh, some other schools are doing the, you know, they they just go ahead and give the kid a lunch, mm -hmm. a regular whatever they want, you know, whatever they would normally have. Um, and I just wanted to ask if that's something that we could consider, or what are we doing that I'm not understanding? Well, I, I can for sure look into it. Okay. But I just know in the past what ended up happening was that um, the, the cafeteria is self funded. I understand. And, and you know, in the past, it's always been a challenge for them to stay in the black. Um, you know, so I, I and, do understand. And, and yes. so, but um, there's we can look into it. I know that yeah. with yeah. everything going on right now, Mrs. Tuss, you can probably um, say maybe a little more detail. But uh, with the program, uh, the summer meal programs through this whole pandemic, um, the, the mothers more money is prepared as mm -hmm. in the past. Also. In the past, a lot of the parents didn't realize that they could apply, you know, um, help me on that. Free reduced. Free reduced. Free reduced. That's what I was thinking. If that would be an opportunity, then to say to the parents, well, you the, know, the thing of it is, is, a lot of times parents were so embarrassed, but it, it's not made public right. at all. Right. But, and um, it's a lot of times it's not because they're, they are going to qualify for that either. A lot of times it's the fact that the student walks off without their money. I mean, there's numerous reasons. I mean, or the sometimes even to the extent of they keep the money because they want to buy something after school. You know, I mean, there's so many reasons of why that's policy anymore. I think the parents don't they do that online, pay for their lunches. They can do it I just, I guess I, I, it occurred to me when this, uh, I saw someone talking about it and they were like, well, you know, it seems like uh, we, if they don't pay other fees, right, if uh, there's some fees that are not paid, they don't get their report card, right? Uh, well, th that was, uh, was a policy until all this kind of happened. And I was just wondering if that wouldn't be kind of the same situation. It's kind of the way I looked at it. 
it should be more the school dealing with the parents rather than the school dealing with the kids when it comes to some kind of economic situation. They probably, because it, they probably does follow up. And I know, and I know you do, but I just, I think, yeah. There's yeah. no way a threshold you know. Yeah, there, they, they're going to the notification like a text or an email. So saying that your child is at this point where it's like five dollars next next expenditure is going to take them into the hole you know what i mean so there is warning sent out to them by a text or maybe it's the parent don't have that so i can look into some more okay i appreciate that because i think uh you know i, mean, I think about little kids you know right it's hard like also our funding we get funding based on that right yeah i just love them yeah i yeah it is real it's difficult especially when you know they're like oh all i eat is a peanut butter and jelly you know i mean it's it's hard for the the child, you know, right. it, it, it makes them feel bad, and I mean, mm -hmm. you know, kids have a hard enough time being just being kids, you know, yeah. and this code is going to be even harder on them. And I just think, I just think it's there's an opportunity, maybe there, anyway. Just a thought, okay. okay. And I, it's not something I'm married to, it's just a thought, <laughs> <laughs> no, just. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah. July the 15th at 4 o'clock. Is that correct? What day did we do that on? We didn't adjourn yet. So we have to have a motion for an adjournment. Yes. Okay, who made the motion for adjournment? I'll move. I'll move. I'll move. I'll move. I'll move. Rachel Ray. Second. Yeah. Isles and then Ray. Mrs. White? Yes. She put Isles and Ray. Oh, that's what I heard Rachel say. Mrs. Isles? Isles and Ray or Isles and White? She heard me say, she heard me say, all Okay, Mrs. White said yes. Mrs. Isles? Mrs. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Green? Yes. Ms. Ray? Yes. Meeting adjourned at 840? Yes. Yep. All right. Catherine, would you take over next month? Congratulations, Mr. Collier. Okay. Congratulations. All right. No problem. I will be good.